Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. So in the last tutorial, I've showed you my go-to list of modules to have when starting having fun with VCV Rack. But unfortunately, I couldn't show you how they sound like. And in today's tutorial, this is what we're going to do. And to be more precise, I'm going to show you the Bifaco modules in action. Now, before we dive into this tutorial, as the usual, if you want to help me make more psychedelic tutorials and more psychedelic music, you can always consider becoming one of my patrons. Hit that subscribe like button, maybe leave a comment, or maybe buy one of my presets on my Gumroad, or, and this is a huge announcement, you can buy my Vital presets now on the Collective Intelligence website. So basically, you can hit two birds with one rock. I think we say it like this in English. Yeah, you can hit two birds in with one rock and support two of your favorite YouTubers. Uh, so yeah, uh, with that said, let's dive into our tutorial. So um, in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to get these juicy FM leads uh, that are a bit related to analog gear. Um, these sounds that uh, Diva from Yuhi is really well known to make them. I personally like to make them with my Model D because as much as people say it's a bass machine for me, it's one of the finest FM machines out there. Uh, so yeah, um, with that said, uh, let's see how we're going to make these juicy FM leads. So let's head to the Bifaco modules in here. And, uh, you know, the building block of uh, whatever FM lead is a carrier and a modulator. And for this, we have the even VCO in here. Uh, it's a pretty interesting VCO. You know, starting stuff, um, uh, it can it have a range of 10 octaves in here, uh, standard volt per octave input, linear FM, hard sync, uh, you know, pulse with modulation. It can output sine, uh, triangle, sine, so, and square and it has an even output. So what is an even output? So the square is odd harmonics. The saw is odd and even harmonics. And the even output is, yeah, you guessed it, only the even harmonics. So it's a, if you look at the scoop, it's a mixture of uh, like a weird saw squarey thing in there. Uh, pretty interesting. So anyways, to get our juicy um, FM lead, I'll duplicate the VCO that we have in here. Uh, and by the way, as the usual, everything is controlled from Ableton via the VCV pl bridge plugin in here. Uh, up, let's turn off the arpeggiator and the delay. And if you want to know how to set up all of this, I've already made a tutorial on that. You can find the link right in here. So anyways, back to our VCV project in here. So I've already explained how to make FM leads in one of my older uh, tutorials. You can find the link again in here. What I like to do, let's go really simple. It's going to be a saw modulating another saw. And let's take the output, the saw output in here to the mixer. Uh, and there's two octaves of difference between these two saws. So this is like my go-to, let's say, um, FM uh, lead. Uh, so yeah, just before we, just, you know, to make things clear, uh, here we have the mixer uh, going to the bridge plugin, and I'm controlling the, I'm using the, the mixer as like a VCA, so I'm controlling how it'll open and close with this, envelope in here and this envelope is being gated by the MIDI that Ableton is sending via the bridge plugin. So anyways, uh, now without the FM, we have just a classic saw. I'm going to make it track pitch with the volt per octave input in here. And I'll make the other v even VCO track octave to, uh, track pitch too. And now what I'll do I'll send the saw to the FM and put in here and listen to what we'll have. Nothing too special. Let's take them an octave higher. Started to get some juicy stuff. Let's hard sing them together. 
Hard syncing will sync the pitch and the phase of both oscillators. So we can get even more interesting timbres with this. All of this juicy character. And as usual, you can uh, try other waves, maybe a triangle. We can get even more adventurous if we took the volt per octave input of the second VCO in here, or our carrier. Because now what's happening is that the first oscillator is tracking pitch, and the second oscillator is hot synced to the first oscillator, and this and it's like it's forcing it to stay in pitch and in phase with it. So we'll get this juicy stuff, you know, juicy leads. It's really nice. This is really nice. Now, let's make things even more interesting with another module from Bufaco, and which is Rampage. So I've already explained briefly what Rampage is, is in my latest video. Um, it's basically, you have two modulators. They can be either LFOs or envelope generators. Uh, and what I'm going to do in here, it's, oh, by the way, just before I continue, if any of you is familiar with the module math from Make Noise? Rampage is kind of similar to math. And, you know, as far as I know, they can do similar stuff. So what I'll do now with Rampage is the first uh, modulator in here, I'm going to use it as an envelope generator. So I want it to send pitch uh, modulation really fast, like a, you know, fast A&D envelope to the first uh, oscillator in here. So basically we'll get uh, like a pulse, if that makes sense. Um, I'll trigger it with the gate from our, uh, from the MIDI that we have uh, from uh, Ableton. And now we have this. Okay, now this is getting interesting, but not that interesting. Now, I want to like doze the modulation that we're having, you know, like if there was some sort of an attenuator. So for this, um, I can use the attenuator from Bavaco, from Bufaco, I can't speak anymore. Uh, I can use the attenuator from Bufaco. It's basically, by the way, it's an attenuator. It's an attenuator and an inverter, but no. I'm going to use another module, and this is really interesting from Bufaco. It's the A multiplied by B plus C. So basically the module is a ring modulator and a VCA. And basically the VCA is an attenuator in its core. So in as an as, this module is also an inverter, basically an attenuverter, just like this module in here. Crazy things can, it can be used to make all kind of crazy things, if that makes sense. So what I'll do, I'll take the output of the rampage in here, the first modulator. I'll set it to A1 in here and I'll send it to modulate the pitch of the first oscillator. Uh, so what will happen now is, uh, well, for now, nothing will happen. But let's start playing with this knob in here. And by the way, the curve of the modulation here is exponential. So we'll get like even harder modulations by the end. We're like in the extreme uh, left or extreme right. Uh, and uh, let's invert this for a second. Pretty interesting results, right? So now I'm going to make it even more interesting and I'll start modulating the fall time in here with the second modulator that we have in Rampage, which is which I'll set to LFO mode. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll take the output in here, I'll make it modulate the fall CV that we have in here. And I'll 
trigger it and I'll set some like, random values to the rise and fall. And now what will happen is that we'll have a different value uh, for the fall modulation every time we'll hit a new node because it's some sort of a random LFO um, modulating the fall parameter in here, if that makes sense. So. And now we can, as the modulation is really extreme, we can uh, control that with the dual attenuator that we have in here. So let's send just a tiny bit like so. Pretty nice, right? Now uh, let's make things more interesting with autoplay. Autoplay is a random arpeggiator. I've already used it a lot of times and I've already made a video about it. You can find the link right in here. So now, if I'll send the ARP signal, let's listen to what we'll have. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. As you can see, all we have to do is just play with the signal of the modulator or the carrier, play a little bit with the octaves, invert the signals between, you know, positive or negative modulations and all of this, all of these juicy tones that we're getting in here. It's pretty nice. And I, I should have mentioned everything in here is totally free. Okay, but for able to live. Uh, but no, that's not the subject of this tutorial. So uh, uh, now um, I want to make things even more interesting and show you the other use of A multiplied by B plus C module that we have in here. And I'll add a third VCO like so. I'll make it track pitch. And I'll send, um, let's say, the even output to the B2. Uh, input in here and I'll take the saw output that our carrier saw output in here I'll set it to A2 in here and I'll take the output of the uh, the out2 of the modules to the input of our mixer and now what I'm trying to do is just using the ring modulator of the A plus B, A multiplied by B plus C module that we have in here to get even more interesting tones. So let's send the ARP and start playing with this oscillator in here and with the module itself. All of these weird tones that we have. We can actually even FM this oscillator with the, the first modulator that we have in here and even get weirder results, if that makes sense. So...
this is really experimental, but you know, you can get some really, really great results out of a really nice, you know, ring modulator. Um, by the way, let's take off the volt per octave tracking. Pretty, 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 pretty interesting. Now, to finish the sound, what we can do is, and this is unfortunately unfortunately not from Bufaku, but we can get a really nice sounding filter, like Zorb. It's really one of my favorite filters. Uh, now, then just take the output, and here, take maybe the... Mm, let's say the bandpass output in here, close the filter a bit, crank that resonance, add the kick and bass that we have, and let's just have some fun. And maybe add a little bit of delay and to make things even more interesting, what I'll do in here, I'll go to my plugins, I'll load Serum as effects. In here, I'll click on note latching and I'll take the flanger like so, set the rate to BPM, set it at 16 bars, crank that feedback a little bit and let's see what we already have. Okay, too much flanger. And I'm clipping so much, I need to take the levels a little bit down, like so. Pretty, 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 pretty dope stuff. And yeah, I had to turn off the flanger, you know, midway because I thought uh, it was just too much, but you know, just for the sake of the demonstration. And um, by the way, these glitches are completely normal because, uh, you know, we, unfortunately we have to live with them because the uh, VCV Bridge plugin uh, doesn't have support anymore. As far as I know, they're going to release a paid version with VCV version 2. Uh, but yeah, for now, we have to live with these glitches. But it's okay because the results are so good that, uh, you know, we have to sacrifice a little bit of this comfort of, you know, the smoothness of the workflow. And uh, just to finish the... Uh, uh, the tutorial Bufaco or uh, has other really interesting modules um, that I didn't talk about right now. They have a spring reverb that sounds pretty pretty nice. Uh, they have a mixer uh, in here, classic stuff, classic mixer mixer stuff for inputs to outputs, inverted outputs. It's really nice. And uh, they have also a slew limiter in here. And what a slew limiter will do is, let's say, if you send a sample and hold stepped modulation, it's going to smooth it up. So yeah, we can use it to smooth the modulations. And uh, yeah, I, I really love making these like nasty FM leads with, with these modules because, you know, again, they're the character is so good, they're really juicy, and you can get a lot of modulation possibilities, you know, out of just the Bufaco modules. Um, so yeah, uh, with this, this is the end of this tutorial. I really hope you've liked it, and yeah, have a great one.